Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these delicious, crispy potato waffles with a creamy herb sauce. So, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start peeling our potatoes. This recipe calls for a total of 5 potatoes, which makes exactly 4 waffles. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start grating our 5 potatoes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start extracting all of the moisture from our potatoes so that way we have really crispy potato waffles. So you're either going to use a cheesecloth or a rag, whatever you guys have on hand, and we're just going to squeeze all the moisture from the potatoes. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to start flavoring our potatoes. So we're going to add Parmesan cheese, grated onion, cayenne pepper, Spanish paprika, garlic powder, all-purpose flour, butter, chopped parsley, and salt and pepper to taste. So next you're going to mix your potato mixture until it's thoroughly combined. So next you're going to add one egg to your potato mixture until it's fully combined. So now that our potato mixture is done, we're ready to add it to our waffle iron. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're brushing on some melted butter onto your waffle iron so that your potatoes don't stick. So now we're going to add our potato mixture to our waffle iron. You want to make sure when you start laying your potatoes onto your waffle iron that everything is even because you want everything to cook at the same time. So we're going to cook these for about 5 to 8 minutes or until your waffle iron indicates that your waffles are done. So now we're going to make our creamy herb sauce. So this sauce is super simple. You're just going to add sour cream, mayonnaise, chopped parsley, about a tablespoon of lemon juice, lemon zest, and salt to taste. And you're going to mix that really well. Once your waffles are done and they're beautifully golden brown, you can remove them from the waffle iron. So now I'm just going to start drizzling some of that creamy herb sauce right on top of my potato waffles and then I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of parsley on top just for color. These potato waffles were absolutely delicious. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!